Hello, uh, it's Bob Repke again. We're uh, at uh, one of the homes we're working on in Christmas and May this year with uh, one of the co-captains of the house, Mike Picorni. Hey, Mark, uh, how are you doing? Doing very good today. Good, good, good. He co-captains this with his dad, Dave Picorni. And uh, so let's talk about your project. Uh, uh, what's going on in your project today? So we're doing a lot of general cleanup. Um, we've taken down, I think, six truckloads of trees and brush and shrubbery out of the back that's just been overgrown. Um, our owner, her husband, passed away a few years ago and just hasn't been able to maintain. So cleaning up. You can hear the rocks going because yeah. they're remulching everything right now. Um, and then we're also repairing uh, her deck in the back. So all new decking. That's a big project back there, isn't it, with the deck? Lots of, yeah. yeah. Football team helped rip out the deck. Oh, a great project for here, them, so right? that was perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um, and filling up our dumpster with lots of lumber. Yeah. Um, and getting everything replaced. So we're almost done with the decking and onto railings. And that takes a while. That's the slow part. A little tedious making sure everything's... So you got a full day project Full here. day project yeah. here. But had lots of help, lots of people volunteering. It's been great. Weather's been great. And yeah. Can't ask for more. How many years have you been doing this? Uh, I have been here since the first one in '96. I rode in the trucks through the, the oh, city okay, and yeah. did that. And I, we so you think go this, way back. I go way back. To the start. I think this is my ninth or tenth year house captaining. So, and I've missed one or two in between. Yeah. So, well, you know what it's all about then. Yeah, now, but, what's your take as you, you know, you live where right now? I live in Minneapolis. And and so you work in the construction industry, right? Yep. And what's your take as you look at a project like this? I mean, you know, how do you look at it? What does it mean to you as a, to come back and work on a project? Yeah, like so this? I grew up in Chaska. This is where I was raised. Yep. Um, love coming back here. It's just such a, Chaska's always been just such a small community yet a big growing town. Right. Um, and our motto at work for our company and kind of all is serving, building things for people to serve others. Yeah. Police stations, fire stations, community yeah. centers. This is just none of those things. We're helping and serving others. And right. It's a ton of fun. Everybody gets out here to enjoy it, learn a little, meet yeah. people, yeah. and just feel good at the end of the day. Yeah. Isn't, that, isn't that cool when you start the day and you're not sure who you're going to run into or show up with? Or maybe you go with a friend. Yeah, but, you know, at the end of the day, you've spent the whole day working with people you may never have met before. Correct. That you've isn't never it, met isn't before. Isn't that special? And, and each year you come back and yeah. might see them again. Yeah. And you see homeowners that you've repaired their houses. Yeah. And that they come back and are helping on the yeah. next year's houses. Next year. It's just keeps paying it forward. Yeah. And it, it's such a cool experience for everybody. The homeowner to get the improvement done, but all those people coming together. I mean, it really is a community builder, isn't it? It is. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so, and like you said, coming back then the next year, and so they can give back. Well, good. You get a chance to, uh, how does this work with your dad? Who gives orders to who? Who so, directs who in this deal? Uh, he's the overall in charge. Yeah. Well, he um, thinks he is. That's, you just tell him that. Oh, yeah, he's you let him go with that. Charge. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, he, he's a very good organizer of people to do things. Okay. And then good. I make sure they get done right. Oh, okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That's good. A lot of runs to Home Depot today because he made the lumber order, but... Uh, <laughs> to make sure you get more get of the, the right, right stuff. stuff. Okay, well, good. So this is going on cable, so now we understand the real... Um, you know, we have the real understanding of how it works when you guys co-captain. That's so. true. Good. But at the end of the day, it's always fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can bring this idea out to other... When you're in that industry, I mean, I wonder, you know, we learned... We, we went to Shakopee to start this because they were doing it and, and what they did is they went to businesses. So St. Francis sponsored a house and another business business sponsored and that's where the employees came. Our approach was to just bring all the volunteers together. And so you intermingled, not just from one area, yeah. one business, all coming together, which seems to what community is all about. And that's what's really neat about this. I mean, there's lots of other good programs, Hearts for Hammers, Habitat for Humanity, but they're a specific house with a specific group where here it's not about the group that's coming to volunteer. Right. It's about who you're helping yeah. as a community. Yeah. Well, amen. I think that's a good note, a good note to uh, uh, close on. Thanks for yeah. Thank helping you, us out again. And, uh, and hope you enjoyed this piece, and uh, we'll see you soon. Talk to you soon.